All right, so wait, let me see. Before we before we really start this trial, let's get a little bit of Pokemon refreshing because let's let me check everybody's levels here. Okay, Raticate can get full hearts. Um, Petalil can get another two more hearts total. Um, Butterfree, we already got all of those. Carbink is still where it is. Um, Cubone can get another one. And that's everybody. Gyarados. Well, Magikarp's been able to get all of its things since before evolving. So, let's do a little bit of Pokemon Refresh before we get started. Best power Let's would be say. being able to borrow powers. So, Kirby? That's actually a character in the show, so pretty OP. Kirby he's powers. Gonna, he's gonna say something destructive, but I don't know how you get more destructive when there's a character that just creates explosions from his sweat. <laughs> That's pretty nuts. It's the, the greatest power in the world. His gauntlets are like grenade hands. Huh? Watch the show. Anybody here have a chocolate orange? Um, being in Florida, that's a thing that I've seen around. It's... I remember one time being in... Was it elementary school or high school? And, like, some kid brought it in to, like... I don't know if it was a class party or something. But I remember the first time, like, looking at it. And I'm like, okay, so it's this big thing of chocolate. I'm gonna take a piece. And it tasted like orange. And at the time... Like, if I look back, it didn't taste bad or anything, but just just if you go with the expectation versus what you get, I was disappointed that it wasn't pure chocolate. I need to get more Poke Beans. As soon as I can get, um... I need to check if I can get Poke Pelago, because as soon as I can get Poke Pelago, I want to harvest some beans. I mean, I guess I could use the cafe to get more beans, actually, but... Oh, wait, did I... I didn't realize... He took three bites, so I thought it was done. I, I looked down. He dropped it. Sorry, Butterfree. Being slow about it. Yeah, he's almost full. Alright, let's, let's pet my Gyarados here. It doesn't even fit on one screen. Look at this. Come up. Wait. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean to. But I have to, in order to get him on the bottom screen, I have to pull out a Poke Bean. There we go. Red like your fury. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gyarados, chill. Oh. Let's see. Okay, so the side fins seem like. The place that it likes. You must appease the giant fish of destruction. Otherwise, <laughs> pet the adorable killer sea dragon. A lot of people will die. Oh, leveled up. Neat. All right. So we're at three hearts. We can get two more. Of course, we won't. We won't get to the next level this this trip. What? I tapped on the beans, and he's like, or she's like, what? <laughs> I would be okay. Are we? Are we supposedly hand feeding these Pokemon? Because if so, I just lost an arm. I just lost an arm three times. I'm surprised that Gyarados can't eat it in one bite. Yeah. I mean, look at that mouth. But I guess like in Butter Butterfree had a smaller mouth and he took four bites instead of three. So. Some Pokemon do two bites. I'm pretty sure my Naganadel did two bites. Those eyes, when it just when it just stares at you. How does one lose an arm three times with two arms? That's that's exactly my point, Title Tyrant. In other words, I should have lost an arm. There were three occasions in which I should have lost an arm, so I should have 
negative number of arms. Nope. Okay. Alright. Three hearts. Let's move on to Petalil. I hear puppies. Or a puppy, rather. Mimi gets to see her Chloe with screen time. Okay. Give you Poke Bean. Oops. Chloe leveled up. Now she's two hearts, start getting that boosted EXP. Okay. Next. Yeah, the Raticate likes the cheeks. Good point, Master Fett. My arm clearly grew back. All right, each. Yum, yum, yum. Are you completely dead now? I think we lost Fwad for good, huh? Fwad! He's back from the dead. Fwad is immortal. Confirmed. Fwad has regeneration. Confirmed. He's playing a game? How do you know, Mimi? He's playing hide and seek. Apparently. AJ, you're playing a game? Oh, you are, apparently. Hey, what game? Mimi. I like seeing Carbink oh, no. eat without a mouth. I'm about to get Mimi, on Steam and find out. Mimi. That gives him plenty of time to sign off of whatever game he's playing. Mm. There we go, see a happy Q bone. Yay, Q bone got another heart. What? How dare you play that game? Why you he went invisible. He went invisible on Steam. I'm away I told you he's playing hide and seek. I'm about to look at his Steam profile and see what game he's played in the last minute. Oh my fwad. I don't know what that game is, but it looks kinda weird. How dare you, AJ? Accuse me of playing a game when I haven't and saying the game that I was playing is weird? Why does it say you played it? I wasn't playing Just it? a few seconds ago. Alright, we've done about as much Pokemon refresh as we can. I am gonna I am gonna go in and buy uh I'm gonna go into the cafe real quick, just so just so we don't run out of beans for later. Since the Pokemon Center is right here, no big deal. You have the blue 
The blue DS. Oh yeah, this is my original model 3DS. The one that I got fitted for recording. Did you get it on release? No, I actually, got I got this one like a year late. Is it like a light blue? It's like the aqua color. I think it was yeah, one of the, the original. Same one. I think it was one of the original oh. models. Ada, you don't deserve it, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Dang. Oh, cool, cool kids. Hey, I'm cool. One tapu coco just for you. All the cool. all the cool kids headed for their trial at Brooklyn Hill are drinking tapu coco. Wait, what? It's. <laughs> that was the most random. Wow. Here we get an old gateau. Old gateau. Wait, he just mentioned the center region. Yep, no. because the old gateau is from the center region. Yeah. That's wild. That's crazy. Alright. Now, let's make progress. Look at how sad Rotom is. All right, Rotom, give me some presents. All the cool kids. I am I am a cool kid. At least, I am now. I was not a cool kid in school, but now I get to make the rules. And I say I'm a cool kid. I do have my, my main 3DS, my non-recording 3DS. It has a covering over it, but I have the... I'll take it off. The new, the red new 3DS XL. That's, yeah, sitting right here. But I have that, I have that little plastic covering over it because it came with um, a carrying case that I got for it. And I figured, all right, why not? All right, yep, right here. Before... For Switch yet? Um, well, I just use the, the capture device that hooks up to the TV. Actually, there's a, another battle over here. If the next big game is on the Switch, then... What if one day you get the battle phone to bully you and you be DL? What do you mean? Oh, you mean like if if one of the if one of the participants in the PGBL was someone who bullied, bullied me? Well, you know, uh, back when I first played through Pokemon Blue, my very first time, I named the character after myself and I named the rival after this kid who bullied me in school. So <laughs> it's Whiskers. Bye, Whiskers. No. Nah. <laughs> it's making it rain. Make it rain, Whiskers. <laughs> Defend yourself. Defend yourself, Whiskers. No. <laughs> whiskers, no. Nah. Rip, Whiskers. Red soldier boy. <laughs> Come right away. All right, go, Chloe. I know this Goldian can get Peck, but it's okay. We're gonna magical leaf it to death. Or it's gonna flail for no reason. Cool. Still need to make that Golden Steam Fairy Blossom. What's up? Still need to do that uh, that Soul Link Wi-Fi battle I did. Oh yeah, that's right. Of our Diamond and Pearl and That's right. All right, um, let me see if I have some orange berry. I'll use one orange berry, I guess, for four HP. Yeah. Oh, there's another revive. I could have sold that. Oh, well. All right. Now, I forget how I did Lana's voice last time, but she was just kind of monotone-ish. Hello, I'm Lana. I serve as the captain of Brooklet Hill. So, trial goer, will you be attempting my trial? Definitely. All right, well, that's that, huh? Then I will explain the trial to you. My particular trial is this. I want you to herd the Pokemon found in the pools of Brooklet Hill, driving them downstream to draw out the totem Pokemon. Lana's in my Discord server. If I might be so blunt, they are wishy-washy. It's wishy-washy I want you to herd. 
but I won't expect you to swim through the pools, through all the pools yourself. I have a lovely gift to help you. Lapis was registered to your right, Pager. If you climb atop Lapras there, you will be able to travel over bodies of water. Now you'll be able to help drive those Pokemon downstream for me. So, if you're ready, please follow me this way. Hmm. Alright. Um, and I'm pretty sure we can't encounter anything here. Well, yeah, this is... I don't think I don't think you run into anything in the grass right now during the trial anyway. But yeah, we don't get a we don't get an encounter here until after the trial is done. Ooh, it's a sky. So you made it. Ah, uh, sorry, what was your name? Of course, sweet. It's a lovely name. Just lovely. Now then, do you see those two splashes over there? I know. Happy belated birthday, Master Fett! I am thinking that at least one of them might contain a wishy-washy. In fact, it's likely both might, don't you agree? Would you try to drive them downstream with a little help from Lapras? I mean, it's not like I get a choice in the matter. <laughs> now there's a trainer right here. I could get some EXP. Yeah, why not? Really your birthday out of it? Wasn't it his birthday on Saturday? Oh yeah. Everybody who didn't already wish Master Fed a happy birthday on Saturday, wish him a happy belated birthday right now. You better go do it. He'll find you. He'll find you and then he'll hunt you down. Exactly. Fletchling trying to boost his speed on me. Mm. Oh, Tidal Tyrant got in trouble with Nightbot again. Tidal Tyrant knows. Wait. Tidal Tyrant knows how to trigger Nightbot, that is for sure. <laughs> Fights Man Nightbot. <laughs> There, I, I undeleted your message, Tidal Tyrant, so we're good. Happy half birth. Ah, uh, Polywag. I, every time now I see Poliwag, I just think, base 90 speed. It's faster than Blaziken. That's almost as fast as Silvalli. Who else is it faster than? Wait, I have, I have some examples over here. Things that Poliwag is faster than. <laughs> A lot of things. Too many things. It's as fast as Lucario. Base 90 yeah, speed. Right. Yeah, it's faster than Tapu Bulu. It's faster than... What else do I have on this? It's faster than... Well, it's faster than Cresselia, but I never realized Cresselia was fast. It has, like, base 85 speed. It's faster than Togekiss. It's faster than Blaziken. It's faster than Rotom. At least... Rotom Heat? I don't know if the, the stats vary by form. Uh... Yeah. So, for a basic Pokémon with two evolutions, that's, uh, pretty fast. Yeah. Alright. Let's go find this scoundrel in the water over here. Oh no, it's a dupiter. A dupiter. I love dupiter. Bubble buddy. I guess I stay in.
Oh no, I can't escape now. How horrible. Hmm. Whatever will I do? Alright, so we gotta find that other thing of water. There we go. Q Fighter might be based on a dive suit. That kind of would make sense, actually. It looks quite a bit like it's got, I mean, it's got like a helmet on. It, it reminds me of when, uh, when SpongeBob and the gang go to visit Sandy in her, like, little area where it's just, where there's no water and it's just air, mm -hmm. and then they have their little water bubble. Yeah. Or a diving spider. Hmm. One hit KO in that wishy washy, though. Gyarados wants to learn Twister. Well, I need to keep Splash, but I probably won't use Leer, so. A diving spider in a dive suit. It's the circle of life. Clorby wants to learn Sun Spore. I probably don't need Sleep Powder and Stun Spore, so I'll say no. The weather's looking rather gray right now. This is a lovely mm -hmm. surprise. You're rain. quite the trainer, sweet. I guess, well, I mean, I guess that it's a rainstorm is gonna start and stuff. Wait, we can Pokemon Snap up in here. It's a Surskit. Unfortunately, I still don't have Zoom yet, so... That's why I need to take pictures. Wait, wait, come here. These are all non-ideal. Especially because they save it in low res. Sure. Thanks, Mimi wishes she can learn Suns for and Master Fret. No, you, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, good. Now I can zoom. Neat. So for next time. We're not too far away from when we can find that Jigglypuff, actually. Okay, so Petalol's not quite level 23. I need to keep track of that, because that's when she gets another heart that she can get. It's a very gross thing to say. I mean, of course it is. Not I don't know, is if you can guess the right one in order, or if you always fight two of them. I also like how if you look at Dewpiter, how it, it looks like it just has one eyeball in the middle of its two eye- or one eye, I guess, in the middle of its two eyeballs. Because you can connect a circle from what looks like it's two pupil things. Bug bite. Oh no, it bit me like a bug. Oh no, it's calling for help. Oh no. Whatever will I do? I don't know. They have me cornered. Wait, why is it? I'm like, why was it thinking for so long? This isn't the new 3DS. The old 3DS needs to take some time to think about things. Bite. Om nom nom. Yeah, with the flinch. It's 
finish it with a twister. Take on this other one. I'm actually going to swap into Petalil for this Wishy Washy just so I can save some PP on Gyarados. Let me just check something first. Alright, got the right item. Let's give Chloe a chance to shine. That's right. Careful, you're summoning Nightbot. Yeah, between the two of you, Nightbot is not going to be happy at all. I feel like Magical Leaf should hit two Pokemon, since Razor Leaf does. But then again, Magical Leaf never misses, so maybe it just like hyper targets one Pokemon. Nightbot loves dinosaurs. Well, I should hope so. Nightbot at least needs to have good taste. Well, Mimi, I think there's a limit on how many characters can be capital in a row before Nightbot will pick on them. So, Tidal Tyrant just so happens to always break that limit. So SL Dino hasn't broken that limit yet, I guess. Oh, oh, Fisher Guy caught me. He got me good. No, no. Did Flat fall asleep? Flat, are you playing that game that you're not playing? 100 Dino, you finally did it. You finally broke it. Good job. Wait, let me just let me just undelete these messages. <laughs> just trying to trigger. I think there's one for too many emotes, but I I'm pretty sure I set it to something crazy like 50. Oh, hey, Fat Albert! Welcome to the stream! How dare you, Nightbot fight me. Fight me, man, to discount Digimon. Mm -hmm. Ow. That hurt. Damn. All right, Chloe is level 23. She can earn another heart. Maybe I myself became the sucker. Interesting. They're too important, so you didn't really need to. I'm pretty sure I clicked on all of them, so I thought that undeleted them. I mean, it's not too hard to to undelete my understanding, but then again, if they still haven't shown up, then I don't know. Ooh, charge beam. Oh, just like in the last trial, we found a TM for Brick Break, which was super effective against this uh, trial Pokemon, but nobody can learn it on my team anyway, so it's okay. Just lurking while hatching eggs? That sounds cool. You trying to hatch anything in particular, Fat Halpert? <laughs> yeah, the trial gate used to be right there. All right, let's heal up. And I'm 
Crown music is pretty good, I have to say. Oh, look, it's Lana. Sweet, look there. Yes, just over there. Uh. It would seem we succeeded in drawing out the totem Pokemon. Strike against the totem with all your strength and seize victory. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe what I thought her voice sounded like in my imagination, other than just very nonchalant. All right, we ready for this? I actually uh, got surprised when I saw the totem in this one. Yes, so did I. I was like, yeah. Because, like, all the wishy-washy you're gathering, so mm -hmm. you think it's going to be a repeat, and then there's the eyes, and he just, like, goes, boom, not today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Surprise. Cool. Honestly, this one was more intimidating than the wishy-washy. Yeah. Like, that one's just a giant fish coming at you. That's a giant, like, water spider. Just Look at how much- like, how big he is like, compared to Gyarados. <laughs> like, imagine that in, like, a movie or something. Like, this giant arachnid legs coming out of the water. Right. Then <laughs> raising himself up. He's like, doom, 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 doom. Like, uh, Alright, we're gonna start with a Z-Splash. We've lowered its attack, so I think it's at neutral attack now. I, I forget whether- I forget- no, I don't think- actually, I think just its defense rose anyway. I don't know, but it's gonna go for bubble anyway. My main rock is not to the wishy-washy. Uh, no, considering its prey is mostly land-based. Uh, but it is interesting that we had to gather all those wishy-washy in order to lure out the Araquanid. I don't know- I wonder if- if there's something, like, if it's just drawn to commotion. Or if it does eat little wishy-washy, I mean, he could just... This is brutal, but he could just skewer them with his little, uh... Oh, no. Thing. And... I mean, not as brutal as his dex entry, like... Yeah. I like how in Sun and Moon, there's two different ones. So, uh-huh. Like, the the one of them is, like, he headbutts, he headbutts them to put them in his water bubble to protect them or something like that. And the other one is headbutts them in the water bubble to make them drown so they can <laughs> eat them. <laughs> it's like... Well, which is it? <laughs> is he is he friendly or is he is he just... He'll he'll protect them from being eaten by someone else by oh, eating by them eating himself. himself. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be safe in my belly. Gyarados with Z Splash OP. Also, I just so happen to completely wall anything the Araquanid could have done to me with this Gyarados, so. Mm. A better way to lure out a predator than to group up its prey? That's what I was thinking. Very well done, sweet. Please, come back this way. What a very surprising surprise. Who would have thought it? That all those wishy-washy gathering would have summoned an Araquanid, that is. Heh <laughs> even I was caught. Hook, line, and sinker. Ah! Dang. You were amazing, uh... sweet. Truly <laughs> impressive. Please, take this. Very funny. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, Gyarados can actually use a Z move now. Wait, he doesn't have a water move. Never mind. Correct. <laughs> Might want to keep him around for the next totem, though. Shit. You do know what that is, don't you? Watch. This is how you use the Waterium Z. Watery, waterium? Waterium. 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 And I have more than just that to offer you. Another token for clearing my trial. Here, this is a Lana original. One of my own handmade fishing rods. Yay. This and is how you use good my fishing rod. rod. A super rod, an old rod. The, yeah, this is the thing in fishing here. They, in Sun and Moon, they kind of toned it down. It's just like, eh. Anything fishing rod is all fishing. I guess. By the I way... Know, by the way, did you know I once reeled in a red Gyarados? Did you really? 
Well, what do you think? Uh... <laughs> I think your totem Araquanid just got its butt kicked by my Gyarados. My regular Gyarados. Mm -hmm. So I went back to the Pokemon Center. I guess I didn't have Unless to. You were in Johto and or Sinnoh, you did not really in that shiny Gyarados. Yeah. Alright, so I kind of took myself back up to the front here, but I am going to go back to, to um, either where there's some grass or where we can- oh, we can fish right here. So we'll get our encounter right here. And I was going to say maybe I should turn the EXP share off now, but I kind of uh, want to put Torchic on the team now. In which case I'd need the EXP share to catch him up. I mean, I got a big pearl. Don't want. Come on, show up something. Look at how sad Rotom is that no fish are biting. Dang. All right, I'm I'm gonna find the grass. Because it's right here. It's a surskit. Free, free. SL Dino, are you a third gen? No, SL Dino is fifth gen. I'm probably fifth gen. <laughs> okay. Actually, ooh, critical capture. Does Honey do anything in, in seventh gen? I don't recall. Uh -huh. First skip. First skip. Alright, so you know what that means, guys. We're gonna go back into Wonder Trade. If it's in a pinch, it will secrete a sweet liquid from the tip of its head. Syrup made from gathering that liquid, it's tasty on bread. I mean, that would explain why it could have, um... Uh... Why it would have honey. Um, what are we gonna call this thing? I'm gonna call it... Terra, because it skates. Huh? Actually, let's see. Let's see if it's holding an item. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, Mimi did say 100% because of compound eyes. I don't know. Oh, wait. I could have put it in my bag. Well, I'm going to go... Not that I really need it, per se, but I could sell it for a little bit of extra pocket money, so... Which is it, Mimi? 100% or 60% or 50% or 5%? You're confusing me. 1%. <laughs> so it's 60% with compound eyes or without compound eyes? And yeah, I'm pretty sure... Um... Honey just gives you an encounter in here, like, because there's no horde battles. Which are mainly only really cool in, uh, randomizers. Alright, hold on. I want to try this Roto Lotto. Anybody playing along, go ahead and get your Wonder Trades ready. 60% of the time, all the time. All right, Festival Plaza, here we come. That moment when you won, when your one HP Pokemon endures a hit at one HP. Mm. <laughs> what is that, Focus Sash Shedinja? Or just 
and a sturdy Pokemon that then used Endure. Oh, whoa! Weird! This is me, right here. I'm talking to myself, guys! Is that your other DS? Yeah. I'll register myself as a VIP. I registered myself it's as a- oh, it failed. Dang. Yup. <laughs> Alright. One that actually looks good. <laughs> it's a decent style. I am getting a little bit, like... I, I like the hairdo, actually, with and, and everything with this one. I think... I definitely need to swap out the shirt for something that matches the pants and hat, or vice versa. Yes. Banana has officially gone bananas. SL Dino, you saw yourself? Hold on, I'll have to run over. You have to show me. You're the next one. Alright, I'll have to I'll have to see if I can find you after I do this wonder trade. Alright. I'll give you a moment. I will talk to you. In a moment, SL Dino, as soon as this wonder trade is done. Ooh, I, I will take a skull tank. That would actually, yeah, that would go pretty well with that, I think. Hmm. I hope it's me, it might not be me, I'll be really disappointed. Well, we'll see, if I have you registered on this D DS, maybe you'll show up. I hope it's me. I wish Team Skull had an actual tank. Like, one mm. that shoots explosives. Mm. Weaponized Team Skull. Hmm. Weaponized Skull Tank. Weaponized Skull Tank. Darn it. I got Raven. Raven. Hi, Flad. Hi, Flad. I got someone from okay. Kanagawa. Nice of you to join us again. Uh, I, uh... You have just been sitting there in silence. If I will, uh... I'll tell you what. No, no, no. Ooh, a Basculin. Oh. Well, I guess let me see what level it is first. Level 100 Basil. Hmm. That name was Kazuki. The the Japanese name, I mean. Hmm. If you wear green you socks. If I wear green socks, what? Or if or if he wears green socks? Who wears green socks? I don't have green socks on right now, but they're kind of black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was really the thing I said. I, I was. I have green socks, but they're kind of black. Okay. I have never said anything that weird in my. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Okay, that that's a uh, doable. Adaptability. That's uh not bad. This mask is in the vault. No. no. It just has two stripe yeah. forms. Yeah, that's not cool. That's bad. Mm. I think Gyrus is bad at the beginning. Alright, so here's what I think I'm gonna do. Even though Butterfree is good for catching Pokemon, I'll probably swap it out for Torchic because... I mean, let's be honest, there's no way I'm using him for the fire trial. And I'll let Chloe sit and earn some experience. Alright.